Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards today. It is Monday, and we do Mail Day on Monday, and I have a gigantic, huge box here from Average Joe. Has sent me just an enormous box, and uh, it is something I'm going to open with a special guest today. The Pack Opening Machine. Hi! <laughs> yes, back! Finally! What, what have you been so busy doing this summer? Uh, going to camp? Yes, that's right. The Pack Opening Machine has summer day camp every weekday, and he is there all day doing all kinds of fun stuff. He has gone... What, you went ice skating the other day, and you yeah. went... Did you go to the chocolate factory today? Not today. I think I'm going tomorrow. Tomorrow they go to a chocolate factory. I'm not even making this up. I don't know... We got him into this summer camp, and the more stuff he does, the more I'm like, I'm going to enroll in that next year, because that sounds like a lot of fun to me. Last year, when we went to the chocolate factory, I got to see what a cocoa bean tasted like. What does a cocoa bean taste like? Not good. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good to know. I won't have one then. Over the weekend, we hit a milestone number, the biggest milestone number really that a channel can hit we got our thousandth subscriber and i'm going to announce tomorrow who was my thousandth subscriber and which person will receive this beautiful keepsake plaque that i had commissioned to celebrate that happening and i want to thank all of you who have subscribed to this channel thank you so much this is uh it's mind-blowing to imagine i have a thousand subscribers can you believe it no. I know. It's it's uh, it's it's just amazing to me. I want to thank all of you. Every single one of you have contributed to make that happen, and I am so grateful for all of you doing that. This beautiful plaque, I will reveal what the fine print says on this, because, uh, you know, I, I know you've been very curious. People have asked about this. It says, I was Card Wolf's 1,000th subscriber, so he gave me this swell plaque to hang on my wall, preferably by the door, so everyone will see it, when they come to all the social gatherings I have and ask about his channel. That's what this plaque says, and I know that the thousandth subscriber is going to be really excited to hang this right by the door in their palatial estate. So I'm going to announce who receives that tomorrow after I comb through all of the uh, records on YouTube and figure out who that was. So thank you all. I was amazed to have that happen over the uh, long 4th of July holiday weekend. And uh, it is pretty, pretty special. Also special is this huge box from Average Joe, who, uh, you know, Average Joe specializes in big packages, so I'm not too surprised yeah. that he would send something like yeah. this. Yeah, I know, it's, it's true. So uh, let's see if we can open this up. I've got the camera kind of up high because this is such a big box. Fold this over and uh, see what we can do here. Now, I, I do not know what is in here. Joe did not brief me on what we might see, but there is a huge letter here. So we can read that to my good friend, Pack Opening Machine, and anyone that may be reading. What? Anyone that may be reading this? <sighs> Unbelievable. It is with a happy heart and a light pen I write this to you. Yes, I know this is a letter, but I need the help of a pen to hit the keys. So sue me. I've been super impressed by your superhero ability to keep the Card Wolf Network going in spite of the Card Wolf. What? <gasps> what does that mean? Unbelievable. And him losing cards he just pulled and put on a stand in front of himself. That does happen sometimes. My memory isn't what it used to be. At this point, we might as well call him Old Grey Wolf. Wait a minute. But I don't know if I want to read the rest of this letter. This is getting a little personal here. Since you are the superhero, I included some superhero items for you to open. Hopefully the card wolf will stumble upon Ooh. these toys and not his usual dinosaurs that he pretends we are. I mean, who really believes people can be dinosaurs? Speaking of dinosaurs, there might be a dinosaur surprise in the box. What? <laughs> that is pretty exciting. If there's one thing the pack opening machine is into, it is dinosaurs right now, so that is pretty awesome. All right, let's read second paragraph of Joe's letter. I've included some extra packs of Tops 23 we can open for our pack battles. That's awesome. There are also a few football packs for dorking with dice. Excellent. Football season coming right up in a couple of months. As well, I've included a book about Grey Wolf's favorite player. Hmm. So you can read them a few pages when you put them to bed. That would be great. I put you to bed. You don't put me to bed. <laughs> I think Joe's confused. If Grey Wolf is still fussy, I've included a toy for him to play with. I've also included an unfinished set of cards for Grey Wolf. The set seems to be missing the bigger stars, which I am sure Card Wolf will have. The only problem is 
It is in numerical order, and the card wolf has issues counting after he uses all his fingers and toes. Well, that, you know, sadly, that is true. I would like to say I'm affronted by that, but I'm really not. Please help him put them in the proper order. Your friend, Average Joe. Well, that is that is uh, quite a missive there. I'm going to put that in the spot up here where I put all the letters, and then we're going to see what Joe has included. This is, wow, what on earth? This is nuts. What has Joe got in here? Wow, look at those packs. Holy cow. Whoa. Oh, wow, that is sweet. That is a starting lineup figure of Cal Ripken Jr., one of my all-time favorite players. That is awesome. Check that out. Two cards and the Cal Ripken Jr. figure in there. That is really sweet. I am, I am pumped about that. I do not have that one, so that is awesome. Put that off to the side here so that will not get damaged. I'm going to probably figure out a way to put that in the background. Look at all of these packs. This is absolutely insane. I think my eyes are about to pop out of my head. <laughs> I think I feel the same way. We got Tops 23 Update, Tops 23 Series 1. Lots of good rookies in these, including two of my current favorite players, Adley Rushman and Gunnar Henderson from the Orioles, my team. Look at all these update packs. That is awesome. I am really excited about this. We got a lot of Tops 23 Series 1 as well. What else do we have in here? We got Tops 23 Series 2 in here as well. This is a plethora of 23 packs. I'll hand those to you, sir. And then what do we have here? This is Select 1994 Football. That I'm is making awesome. a stack, but it seems like I'm going to have to make a second one. I think definitely. Because it's getting up to the top of the box. I think that's, it's going to require a second one for sure. That is a ton of packs Average Joe has sent us. And these 1994 Select Football look pretty great, too. I am pumped about that. I do not have any of those, so those will go in the dorking box during football season. We got more Series 2 and Update, and we even have 2022 Series 1 with Otani on the front of the pack. That is awesome. Get some of those over there. Any Studio Pack. You guys know how much I love Studio. And that 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 is going to go into the dorking box this week. I enjoy Studio a great deal. If you watch the channel, you are aware of that and probably tired of me reading the backs of Studio cards, which I do whenever I get them. Two Studio packs. That's awesome. Very generous of Average Joe, to say the least. Yeah. What else do we have in here? Get that out of here. We get an awesome pack of cards here. I'm going to open that last. I'll put that down there. Here's the book. Joe was talking about. It is a book by Cal Ripken Jr. called Just Show Up and Other Enduring Values from Baseball's Iron Man. That's awesome. We'll absolutely read that and do not own that. When did that come out? I don't even remember this book coming out. That is really sweet. It came out in 2019. Wow, so that's pretty recent, actually. That is awesome. I have never read that before, and I'm very excited about that. I read, as the pack opening machine will testify, I read every day. So that is really cool. What is this? This is a Spinosaurus tooth. Do you see that? Do you see that? Holy cow. Whoa, pack opening machine, the claw just came out and grabbed that out of my hot little hands. That is amazing. Holy cow, that is a Spinosaurus tooth. Oh man, now he's opening that up right now. He's gonna get that tooth out of there. I'm gonna get the rest of these things out of here so we can get this giant box off of the table. I'm not sure what is in those those containers I just pulled out of here. And here's a binder at the bottom here. This must be the partial set that Average Joe was talking about in his letter. Get this box out of the way here so that it does not interfere any further with what we're trying to do on the channel today. This is an amazing, amazing package from Average Joe. I'm just going to lower the camera a little bit so that I can sit down. Here we go. Wow, what do you think of that tooth? Have you have you ever seen anything like that? So <laughs> the pack opening machine is extremely excited about this. I'm going to have to ask Average Joe where he got this. Because that is, that is a prize. What a treasure that is. Now, how many years old is that tooth? 65 million. Wow, you knew that right off the top of your head. I am in awe of your dinosaur knowledge. That is crazy. 65 million. What age was the Spinosaurus from? Cretaceous. Cretaceous. Okay, Cretaceous period. Very nice. Did not know that. And uh, about how big was the Spinosaurus? Do you remember? Um, It was the biggest carnivore ever living on land. It was 50 feet tall. Wow. 
just he just has these facts off the top of his head. This is his, the level of dinosaur knowledge I'm dealing with here. It's pretty remarkable. What do you say to Average Joe for that? Thank you. That is that is an amazing, amazing gift. Thank you very much, Joe, for that. Looks like these are the superhero items that he was talking about. These are s squooshies, I guess. I've never Squishy. seen these. Yes, you know about these. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, let's get into one of these because I, I don't. I just thought that was funny. I don't know what these uh, what these are. I've never opened one of these before. I might need the uh, services of Mr. Kershaw to help me get into this. Let's can I try? I... Yeah, you can try. Sure. Get Mr. Kershaw out to help if need be. As always, practice good knife safety. Keep these blades out of the reach of small children and spinosauruses. If you run into one, you do not want it having a knife. That would not be helpful. Of course, its claws were probably just as sharp as knives, were they? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much? Also, okay. by the way, spinosaurus eat fish. They ate fish? Yep. So they were carnivores, but they were pescatarians primarily? Yep. Interesting. How did they catch fish if they were land animals? Did they have fishing rods? Well, they're really big, so they just went in the water. Okay. They just waded right out there. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's see what we have here. I've never opened one of these before. Once again, this enormous box full of amazing stuff. It's courtesy of Average Show. Pack opening machine is going to be the opener of that item as well. And we'll see what is in there so that we find out what these superhero figures actually look like. And perhaps one or both, too, will make an appearance in the pack battle on uh, Wednesday. Average Show and I do pack battles on this channel, as you know. And I like to represent each one of us with some sort of a special toy or action figure or something like that. So I have a feeling that that's where this will come from. All right, I think we need Mr. Kershaw for this as well. Let's very carefully do that so as not to cut myself. There we are. Or the thing inside. Well, that's true. Yeah, I don't want that to happen either. So what do we have here? All right, here it is. It is blue. It's Superman. It looks like a gummy almost. What do you think? Is it squishy? Yeah, it is kind of squishy. I see that. Let's get that in focus for people so they can see what it is that Average Joe has sent us. Why is that not getting into focus? There we go. All right, now you can see there is a uh, crystal blue Superman there. That is, uh, that is pretty cool, honestly. I've never seen anything like that. What do you think? Wow. That is pretty neat. I like it. I like it a lot. I'll put him back there with Willie Mays. Two Supermen, indeed. Well, Joe, thank you for that. Let's go through this pile of cards here and see what Joe has included. I wonder if there will be any cards in here for you. Do you think there will be? I, I suspect there might be. That's my guess here. Zach Neto starts things off there. Nice rookie card from Heritage. You guys know I enjoy the Heritage sets. If you watch the channel, we got Elias Diaz, who is pumped. He's excited. I think he looks pretty excited there. Spencer Steer, nice rookie card there. Really good player for... The Reds, my name is Bo Jackson. That is an awesome insert from Big League. Joe knows that's my favorite insert out of Big League, so thank you very much for that. Mahomes! Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Here comes the claw. I see it already creeping into the frame. There it is. Yep. Back opening machine's favorite player. Ooh, nice throwback Griffey. That's a beauty. Nice throwback 1987 throwback Ken Griffey Jr. card there. I like that. Jalen Hurts, quarterback for the Eagles. Here comes the claw again. I thought so. There it goes. Mike Bauman, nice rookie card there. And a purple parallel. That's pretty sweet. I do not have that. Josh Allen, another POM favorite. Nice Bo Jackson there. Score record breakers. I like that. Travis Kelsey, is that another Chiefs card? I'll just... Oh, yeah, here comes the claw. I thought so. Beautiful Ryan Mountcastle. That's a pink prism, or no, pink mosaic card. Really nice Panini card there. Another Mahomes. Yeah. Whoa, check that out. Man, Average Joe treating you well with the Mahomes cards. Mm -hmm. McCutcheon and Rashad Bateman, Ravens card. Got Mookie Betts. That's a beauty. I don't have that one. That's an Archives Tops card. I do not have that. Is Archives out already? I somehow did not know Archives was out. How could that be? Another Jalen Hurts card. Wow, you're getting some good stuff. Wow, that's a beautiful <laughs> Ripken Red Wings card from the brief stint Ripken had in the minor leagues there with the Rochester Red Wings. That is in the 1967 Tops design. Even the back looks like that. That's a sweet card. I've never seen that before. Thank you very much for that, Joe. There's a Tua card from the Dolphins, <laughs> and the Claw grabs that one. Beautiful Obsidian card of Mookie Betts. Wow, that's a beauty. Bring that up closer to the camera so you guys can check that out. That is a gorgeous card. I've never seen that, and I do collect Mookie Betts, so that's a really nice pickup for me. Pretty excited about that. 
Another Jalen Hurts. Man, you are getting yeah. some great stuff. Man, nice uh, throwback card. Mookie Betts there. And John Means, Orioles pitcher there. Grayson Rodriguez, rookie card in the sepia tone parallel version from Topps Chrome. That's a beauty as well. We got a sideways card of Ozzy Smith, and that's a color match parallel. Red foil color match parallel from Topps Stadium Club. Like that one a lot. Bo Jackson throwback card. That's a beauty. 1987 design of that Bo Jackson All Star card. These are awesome cards. OBJ there, Odell Beckham. And our last card is Rakeem Mostert. Man, that is another nice Dolphins card. And the claw yes. takes that one immediately. Pretty sweet. Wow, these are awesome cards. Thank you, Joe. You pick Joe picks out the best stuff. He really knows what the POM and I like. And uh, that was a really, really nice assortment of cards. Thank you for that, Joe. Now, what do we have in this binder? Whoa. I think we're going to have to move these giant piles of unopened packs out of the way. I mean, look at this. This is this is absolutely crazy. I'm going to put those over here. And another pile here. Check that out. That is absolutely nuts. You're going to be seeing some of that in our pack battle on Wednesday. I would almost guarantee you're going to see some of that. So let's see what... Oh, this is a hockey set. Wow. That is nice. Some Hall of Fame action right there with Trottier on the front. That's a beauty. Wow, these are nice. Very, very nice. Is this is this whole bunch? Yeah, this is a very close to partial set of these. I'm I'm very impressed. Wow. I believe these are 1990, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I think these are 1990. Let me look at the back. They uh, they are indeed 1990, 91 cards. So that's pretty awesome. Love that. This is great. Wow. I'm very excited about this. I actually don't have a set of this, so this is uh, going to put me very close. To being able to complete that and I probably have a lot of the cards that are missing from this because I do have a lot of stars and whatnot in my collection I can probably pull out as singles and put in here that's awesome Joe this is so thoughtful thank you love looking through this this is great really great and there's some really good players in here too this I know some of the stars are missing but a lot of the stars are still in here so that is awesome wow this was this was an amazing amazing mail day from Average Joe. Thank you so much. I still can't get over that he sent you a Spinosaurus tooth. Yeah. That is amazing. How many years old did you say it was? 65 million. 65 million years old. Well, I, I gotta say that absolutely sets the record for the oldest item I have ever received in the many generous care packages that you guys have sent myself and the pack opening machine over the years. This is uh, absolutely the oldest item. Let's get that up close to the camera so people can really see what this uh, spinosaurus tooth looks like I, I am i can tell part of the bottom broke off yeah what do you yeah. do you think it broke off when it was trying to take a chomp out of like a triceratops or something probably were they from the same era yeah they're from the same era nice nice card wolf score one for card wolf Get probably the because era. the frill's pretty hard yeah yeah that's true or the maybe it is. just broke Mm -hmm. over the years it could have before it was dug up that is true well that is awesome average joe thank you once again those of you who have never been to average joe's channel well i don't know what you're thinking because he obviously is a hugely generous individual he opens all kinds of cool stuff and his channel is awesome so please head over there i'll put a link to his channel in the description go over there give him a subscription for me give him a sub give him a like do all the nice things that you've done for me to help Average Joe grow his channel as well. I certainly appreciate that. I'll be back here tomorrow opening something up. I cannot uh, tell you what it's going to be because I haven't decided yet, but I've got quite a few candidates sitting here. And then Wednesday will be a pack battle with Average Joe. Thursday we'll get into the second half of that Panini Golden Age box that we started opening last week. It's the 2013 version of that. And we pulled some very interesting and neat stuff out of there. Looking forward to the second half of that where we should get a relic card. That'll be on Thursday. And Friday, of course, we'll be dorking with dice. It's going to be a great week here at the channel. I look forward to seeing you back here for all of that and more. And once again, celebrating a 1,000 subscribers next week, we're going to be doing a... That's right, collection break giveaway. We do it every time we hit a milestone number. We're going to be doing a big one for hitting a 1,000 subscribers. That's going to be next week. Look forward to that. I'll look forward to seeing you here tomorrow. And as always, happy collecting.